for the last 25 years, every year I get the same question. People ask me, Gabriel, in all your years of doing comedy, what has been the greatest moment of your career? And it's always been one of those things where I never try to put a, a highlight to one specific thing because there's been so many incredible moments over the last 25 years, you know? I love the fact that my mom saw so much of it and she saw her son become successful and that she raised someone that was respectful of people and that, you know, chased his dream. And I've always been very like, uh, I never wanted to put a specific date or time or event on one thing whenever people would ask, what has been the greatest moment of your career? The problem is, I think that if someone were to ask me the question on Monday, Gabriel, what has been the greatest moment of your career? I think I have an answer. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to mislead you guys. This is not the greatest moment <laughs> of my career. This is the greatest moment of my life. And if I die tomorrow, I did everything I've ever wanted to do, and then some. I think at this point, there's only one thing left to say. I get pulled over one night, two minutes after coming out of a Krispy Kreme drive-thru. I made a left turn instead of making a right turn, but I wasn't paying attention because I had a box, right? I was like, oh, you're gonna get it when you get home. You've been so bad, so bad. <laughs> You've been so bad. I'm not paying attention, I go the wrong way. Later. The officer's taking forever. I said, forget this, he's taking too long. I grabbed my box, I put it on my lap, I flipped it open. <laughs> and just as I'm about to tear it up, the officer gets to the window. You know why I stopped you? It was too easy, I said. Cause you can smell it. Los Angeles, I love you. You are my home. Thank you for 25 years. Thank you for the greatest night of my life. I will never forget you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.